What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. Mr. Silver 2000 here for you. So today we're going to just dive right into this. Let's talk about the loadout for the Avenger Titan. Now, before I even start this video, this is my opinion of what works for me and what I use what I go back to every time it's super effective it's a great loadout I have tried all different kind of loadouts and this is just the one that I prefer personally with that said leave comments let me know what you guys are using maybe it's something that I haven't tried but I have tried quite a few combos on this so real fast I'm going to throw this up on the screen and I'm going to show you what I use on this ship and where I get them from. Now, I start at Orson. And the reason I start at Orson is because a lot of my ships, I can get my standard components there. And since this was my starter ship that I just run around the burst in, it was just a lot easier for me to do it this way. So, let me throw this up on the screen. And let me walk you guys through this real fast. So, at her L2, I pick up the CF337 panther for the nose gun that is the only theme weapon wise i do this thing comes standard with the mantis on the front of the nose which is the gatling ballistic gatling and that's just it just runs out of ammo too fast it's effective and it works but it just runs out of ammo too fast and i don't like going back to the station all the time and reloading so just doesn't carry enough ammo for me personally at her l5 i pick up the atlas quantum drive it is a civilian type A. It's a very balanced drive, and it just completely works. Um, I've tried the what is it, the VK00, and I'm just always re refilling my quantum. I can make quite a few jumps in the with the Atlas drive without having to refill my quantum, and you get a nice balance of speed with that. So, everything else you can find at Cousin Crows and Orson. Like I said, I started at Orson a lot, especially for 318, and I can get everything else there. So, shields. I run the FR-66 shields. You get pick up two of those. Then I pick up the JS-300 power plant. And then we run the Glacier times 2 coolers. All of these are the military grade A. So that is my standard loadout for the Avenger Titan. Like I said, real quick back on the weapons. I replace this nose gun, that is a Mantis, that's the only thing you need to do, and I replace it with that CF-337 Panther, which is a repeater, and it goes nicely, pairs nicely with my size 2s on the the wings. I think you get about 35, 31 or something like that rounds for the front, and then you get about 41 for the wings, so it's a nice balance. You, you can fire quite a, quite a few shots before you have to, to switch back and let the repeaters recharge so yeah guys um it's a great loadout again below tell me what you guys are are using for this I, i'd really be curious um you know there's a lot of different loadouts that you can do and to go find those loadouts you can run over to urkel games and i will have a link to urkel in the description as well and that will kind of give you what you can get and where you can find them from Again, Urkel Games lets you get what you let you know what you can get and where to get it from in the description. So, guys, I appreciate it. I'm gonna throw some clips of some bounties at the end of this, and yeah, that's all I really want to discuss. This is a pretty basic starter ship, so anybody looking to do a quick loadout for their basic starter ship, this is a fantastic kit to go with. So I appreciate you guys listening, and I will see you guys on the next video.
it.